Hey there guys, what's going on? It's your boy John from JTB Metal or JTB Review 123 here. Today we're going to be talking about Iron Maiden's record Somewhere in Time. And boy, do we have a lot to cover on this record because this record was a little different than all the Iron Maiden records, and you could definitely tell by the uh, sound. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and talk about that. We're gonna get right into this. Got my notes here. But here, here's what I thought about this record. All right, they, they're still recording down in the Bahamas. They, they must really love the Bahamas down there, just loving the, uh, loving the weather, all that good stuff. They also recorded it in the Netherlands as well. It's a little bit longer album, um, at coming in at 51 minutes. And uh, so here, here's what I got from this one. All right, going into this Iron Maiden record, uh, the whole band, they were just burnt out. All right, they took six months off, which um, which was something that they never really did. They never really took any time off. They just been recording, tour, recording, tour, recording, tour, and they just never really took any time off. But Adrian Smith, he kept writing songs, and that led uh, Bruce having writing credit. That led him to having no writing credits on this record, because Adrian was just he was just, he just kept going, man. He's a machine. First thing you'll hear is the guitar synths right out the gate. All right, so they changed their sound a little bit, but in a good way. They kind of modernized what they needed to do as a band. They, um, you know, they wanted that to expand their their sound. I guess they uh, got some guitar synthesizers and just added it to the insane guitars they already had already. And it starts off with "Somewhere in Time" right out the gate, title track. And it starts right off with guitar synths. Like I said, it, it just new sounding, fresh. You know, they needed something different, and that's what we're getting here. The song is two futuristic sounds um, with kind of a galloping bass, like you know, it kind of has that that little sound to it from Steve Harris. Man, the dude is just killer. I love Steve Harris. Rock on, man. He's just awesome. Dave and Adrian kill this track with two awesome solos making this track just the the best opening track ever. I mean, there, it, it doesn't get much better than that. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Wasted Years is a, uh, is a single, um, which I believe is a great, great single. Um, I, I, I believe, I love that song. I love Wasted Years. The, the opening is just pure gold uh, the opening it, Adrian is credited with writing this song the song is catchy from both uh, musically and lyrically the two and a half minute mark uh, the intro is replayed again with amazing instrumental section with a solo from Adrian and God man ah God I, I love that song man wasted years does it does it really get much better than that I don't think so great opening great second track and then sea of madness the first thing you notice is bruce's vocals are just are just amazing especially on the chorus the chorus is catchy then adrian solos is just amazing the song slows down at the three minute mark and bruce just kills it taking the track over the guitars bass come back with a great track it, it, it just very underrated very underrated song. Sea of Madness is just badass. Such a great song. Heaven Can Wait is a lengthy song. The song has sense throughout the song. The song has a happy feel to it despite the subject matter, which I, I kind of figured that um, reading the vocals and hearing it, it, it didn't match. But uh, regardless, still really cool. Uh, it's probably one of the weakest tracks on the album, in my opinion. And I believe it could have been shorter because it is a little bit of a long song, kind of gets repetitive after a while. But regardless of that, kind of a, a good song, just a little too long, you know. Yeah, the loneliness of the long distance runner. I always have trouble saying that. Like, I, too many L's, I guess. Um, it's a little bit of a, a, a slower song, but the you know the opening. You know, it, it speeds up a little bit, but when Bruce comes in with that vocals, um, with the vocals, he it, it gets faster. You can you can definitely tell as soon as he hits those vocals, the, the song starts coming together a little bit more. 
the guitar solos are amazing and it just the, the message in the song is kind of motivational it's kind of like a never give up type feel it, it's just a very cool song it's a great track making this song just awesome i i, I love i love it i love it um great song stranger in a strange land has more of a relaxed sound to it um it's uh, Adrian's final song um, as the second single. Um, the song is catchy, mid pace, cool groove. The vocals are amazing with Adrian's awesome guitar, which makes the song one of the better songs on the record. And I agree with that. Um, I definitely agree with that. Um, it's just awesome. It's an awesome song. And uh, they just kill it, man. They just kill it. Um, one of the, I'd say the second best song on the, on the, or no, the third best. Um, Deja Vu starts off with an amazing, amazing guitar solo going into guitar synth in a faster paced section. The vocals don't stick out as much, but the track is awesome just from the instrumentals alone is what I put in my notes. And that is so true. So true. It doesn't get much better than that. It really doesn't. And last but not least, Alexander the Great has a very, very long instrumental section, which I noticed right off the bat. Right off the bat. Adrian really shines on this record because he's just killing it. Two out of the three solos on this record are his. Bruce makes his mark um, with some really great vocals on the track. Lengthy track at eight minutes, but it's a great way to end the record. I would have totally chose that song to end the record as well. But rating this record is a 9.5 out of 10. I believe this is just awesome. This is just gold. It's amazing. And I honestly really love this record. Um, I, I was kind of iffy going into it with the whole synths and everything. I kind of didn't know really what to, uh, what to think about it. But now that I hear it, now that I you know listen to this album I, I dig it man I dig the whole sense I dig everything I think it's just totally awesome so 9.5 out of 10 for me this was almost a 10 almost but they just you know heaven um, heaven can wait kinda just took that 10 away but man it was close man it was close it was just that song just was just a little too long for me but uh, anyways, what do you guys think about Somewhere in Time? I love the album cover. I love um, just everything. I love the production. I love the, the synth. I love everything about this record. It's, it's honestly really great. Um, but tell me what you guys think about it down in the comments below. And um, I will definitely see you guys on the next review. Have fun. See you guys later. Deuces.